Hey, this is a quick wee video on how we actually store real numbers, so numbers by a decimal point in a computer. And it's stored using something called floating point representation, in which it's broken into the mantissa and the exponent, and this is known as the base. So, as I've said in class, you probably used this maybe in maths and physics, but we've been using it such as maybe your speed of light. Instead of writing something as big as that, what you can do is you can break it down into mantissa, base and exponent. So we can see that's a equivalent of 3 times 10 to the power of 8, in which case 3 is mantissa and 8 the exponent. Okay. Now, if we actually look at a binary example, we will see how we can split the binary example into these components. Now the base for this one is 10 because that's decimal and it's a number system like that's 10, okay, decimal. So if we look at a wee example, so question one, here's a binary number and obviously there's a wee decimal point. Now, we don't want to be saving this decimal point, so we need to find a way of rewriting this number but not having a decimal point in it. And what we do is we make this decimal point float all the way to the start of this number, and that's why it's called floating point. So if you think how many time, how many numbers does it have to float past in order to get to the top or the front? So we go one two, three, four, five. So we can write this number, point, but we'll just ignore that. Okay, now, we then say times two, because it's binary, so binary space is two, and we just write down how many numbers did they have to go past to get to the front. However, obviously this is in decimal, so we need to think about converting that number to binary, so we can write it again. And we've got 5 in binary, which is 1, 2, 4, so it's 1, 0, 1. So that is 1, 0, 1. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got and then Tessa. And here we have exponent. And this is how we save real numbers on numbers with a decimal point. Now, if you increase, we've given one byte for the allocation for the Tessa. If we increase the number of bytes that you want to save them in Tessa, you can actually increase the accuracy of the number. Okay, so increasing the mantissa increases the accuracy. Sometimes we could just call it precision. Now, if we increase the number of bytes that we use to save the exponent, we can actually increase the range. So, increasing the exponent increases the range. So a typical question might be they allocate a certain number of bytes for the mantissa and they allocate a certain number of bytes for the exponent and if they decrease the number of bytes for the mantissa what does that mean? Well that decreases the accuracy of the number. If they increase the number of bytes used to save the exponent what does that mean? Well that increases the range. Now that's something in which when we look at some of the examples in the class hopefully you'll start I've seen the wee common theme that they have behind the questions.